I welcome all of you and my this particular lecture is related to e-waste, electronic waste, sometimes it is called electrical waste also. So uh, this is very very important topic in the environment science and uh, environmental engineering and as you know uh, Central Pollution Control Board is one of the organizations uh, which is dealing with this uh, domain that is environmental protection. And uh, many of you are expecting a written exam of uh, Central Pollution Control Board. In that, uh, e-waste is a very important topic. So my this lecture is related to that. And you know, there are organizations like uh, Central Pollution Control Board, which have not very clearly, uh, you know, given you the syllabus for the written exam. So in such cases, we need to refer to, you know, what is very, very important for the organization like uh, Central Pollution Control Board. We need, we go to their website and we see that uh, what is mentioned there. And accordingly, we start preparing the topics which are relevant for particular organization. Now, electronic waste is one such topic. And by this lecture, I will be discussing with you the terminologies which are used in e-waste. So, e-waste there will be series of lecture. This particular lecture is related to the terminologies which are going to be used in e-waste domain or e-waste uh, topic which we are going to cover. So first of all comes you know what is e-waste, what do we understand by e-waste and later on I tell you these kind of uh, questions which we are going to discuss now. They are also asked in the interviews once you go in the interview, so sometimes these can be asked in the interviews also. So e-waste does not only mean electronic waste, it is also electronic and electric equipment related term. So when it is discarded or it is you know rejected by the consumer, you may be knowing that uh, mobile phone which you use after a couple of years, uh, it is you know you discard it. Where do you keep it once you discard it? Where do you keep it? So that becomes waste now when it has already completed its life and electronic goods have their life and after that it is of no use. Laptop, mobile phone, watch, so many electronics and electrical uh, devices, tools and gadgets. Once they complete their life cycle, they are dead now, so they become waste. So these can be you know uh, discarded by the consumer, bulk consumer or manufacturing company or you know all these uh, uh, stakeholders. So that becomes waste. So these are the terms e-waste, electronics waste, e-scrap, end of life electronics. End of life term is also used very frequently. So they are nearing their end of useful life. So these are either discarded or donated or they are sent to the recycler something like that. Now electronic waste or e-waste uh, basically describe the discarded electrical and electronic devices. These uh, electronics which are destined for refurbishment. Now these terms you should know. Refurbishment means ek bar usko maine discard kiya as a consumer. It goes back to the manufacturer. Manufacturer will uh, you know refurbish it. Thoda sa isko thik kar denge. Fir second hand bech denge. You know second hand term that becomes refurbished product. Maybe many of you know that laptop, there are new laptop you can purchase, there are refurbished laptop you can purchase. That means manufacturer has now made it little better and now you can uh, you know use it for some more time. Reuse, resale, salvage, recycling, salvage, scrapping and salvaging is that means we have made it finished, but we can use it recycle it again. So this is through material recovery and these particular thing are basically considered the e-waste. So the question here comes is, so which uh, product refurbishment, reuse, resale, salvage, recycling ke liye bana hai, that is also considered e-waste. So question comes, can we say refurbished product also e-waste? So as per the definition, yes, it is that also is basically refurbished. So used electronics which are destined for this refurbishment, reuse. Maine ko cheez ko use kiya. Now the laptop which I was using, I believe now its life is over. So I am sending it for refurbishment. Mere se kisne liya? Maine usko refurbishment ke liye bhej diya. So that is also e-waste. Understand that particular thing. Now after refurbishment, somebody else is also going to use it. But that is after refurbishment. That is how it is to be done, it is to be understood. So, <coughs> you know the main trouble is in the developing countries like India, there is a tremendous e-waste which is accumulating and we do not know how to, uh, you know, uh, properly dispose it of uh, that we are not knowing so that it is not hazardous, it is not 
creating any kind of public health issue but in the developing countries that system is not very well established and hence it is going to create public adverse public health issues electronic scrap components such as central uh, uh, processing unit cpu which you use in the uh, computers uh, it contains harmful materials such as lead cadmium so why e waste is dangerous that is a question here electronic scrap components like central processing unit which you see in the computers it has harmful material something like this lead cadmium and all these things this is something which is not good recycling and disposal of e-waste may create some kind of risk to health of the workers who are working can you think of answering this question what is the meaning of e-waste electronic or electrical or both so the answer is both okay let's go to the next question as per the convention uh, particular convention e-waste is categorized as hazardous waste which convention answer is basel convention so that is also mentioned somewhere i think uh, we must have uh, seen that it is uh, described in the definition so as per basel convention it is hazardous uh, basically thing and it is something which is not good for human and human use okay so uh, as per basel convention it is something which is not supposed to be good okay let's see i think i've mentioned it next page uh, which of the following is example of e-waste all of these you know so like uh, these flames mercury lead we have seen the example of this these all are e-waste let's go for some more terminologies what is end of life end of life means when product is intended intended to be discarded so when i think that now it is all already over its life is already over so i will consider it as end of the life e-waste exchange these are the terminologies which we should be aware what do we mean by e-waste exchange this is actually the independent market instrument which helps in you know some kind of uh, uh, sale and purchase of e-waste material uh, which already has attained its end of life service now so some kind of uh, independent marketing uh, body or instrument it is not some government body or organized body independent market instrument which is selling and purchasing second hand market of electronic bodies actually e waste exchange means second hand market jahan pe aap electronic goods ko sale and purchase kar sakte hain aapko koi cheez bechna hai aapko second hand kuch khareedna hai that is called the e waste exchange now what is channelization channel you know is a route is a path you know it means uh, to direct the path for the movement of e waste from collection onward to authorized dismantle ab dismantler or recycler kya ho, kon hota hai which eventually leads to dismantling of the product so who will dismantle it so that is a dismantler or recycler either he will dismantle it finish or he will recycle it for refurbishment so produce so aapka the entire path from collection to the authorized mantler कलेक्शन मीन्स मेरे को ये चीज लिया और मैंने रिसाइकलर तक दिया दैट इज कॉल्ड चैनलाइजेशन यू नो देन इज सेइंग दैट फ्लोरोसेंट एंड अदर मर्क्यूरी कंटेनिंग लैंप्स वेयर रिसाइकलर आर नॉट अवेलेबल दिस मीन्स पाथ फॉर द मूवमेंट फ्रॉम कलेक्शन सेंटर टू ट्रीटमेंट स्टोरेज डिस्पोजल फैसिलिटी सो यू आर टू कलेक्ट इट यू नो दिस एंटायर इज द पाथ फॉर मूवमेंट कलेक्शन सेंटर फ्रॉम वेयर आई टेक इट एंड देन आई गिव इट टू द डिस्पोजल ऑफ फैसिलिटी दिस इज ओनली Uh, certain products are there for which you do not have recycler recycling uska nahi hota hai so there are certain things but otherwise recycling is possible that is the path that you should know e retailer is a company or a person or a business entity that uses electronic network internet telephone to sell its products so e trading actually e trading or e retailing jaise aapne kai sites dekhi hongi jahan pe aap saman bech sakte ho you right second hand things you can sell you can purchase so all those sites are e retailer e shopping jahan pe aap karte ho those things are called e retailer already it is known to you so would you like to answer this question what is channelization okay sir so that is a path for movement of e waste independent market instrument offering assistance or independent electronic system offering service for sale and purchase is known as what that is known as e exchange e waste exchange abhi to padha humne that is e waste exchange so that is a name for this trading body this is very very important extended producer responsibility you know producer of electric or electronic equipment has the responsibility that he will make sure that e waste 
is not leading to environmental trouble and uh, he is to take back the product system and create the collection center and you know make uh, take it uh, to the authorized dismantler or recycler uh, either you know collectively or individually that means the person who produces something it is his responsibility to eventually take the product to the dismantler or recycler so this is nothing but responsibility of the producer extended that means not only produce the electronic item and forget no when i produce some electronic item i have a responsibility that this electronic item once end of the use it reaches end of use its collection and taking it to the dismantler is also my responsibility that is called extended producer's responsibility because producer is a, a big company or it is a company it is not only customer customer may throw it here and there but the government can only make a producer you know stick to some responsibility Cons customers and consumers may not do that but producer has to do that particular thing so this is called uh, you know extended producer responsibility that is what it is done what is orphaned product you know what is orphan who are not claimed by anyone they are called orphaned products orphaned products means non branded or assembled electric or electronics equipments as specified in schedule 1 or those produced by company which has closed its operations so now you understand it uh, the company which is no more in operation this we find sometimes in automobile sector also that some automobile is produced by a company now company is not existing company has closed its business in india or it has closed its entire business now that product becomes orphaned because mother the parents died what was the what is the parent of a product that is a company now the company died then the kids become orphaned so that product for which the company now which produced these products is no more existing are called orphaned products and recycling and all these things become trouble for these what is a recycler a recycler can be a person who does recycling reprocessing of the waste electric electronics equipment and you know this is basically uh, the elaborate guidelines are given in central pollution control board for it refurbishment means repairing of the used things uh, and extending its working life for its originally intended use and selling the in the market that is what the meaning of it is procedure for storage of e-waste so what is the procedure now how to store it now there is also a way how you have to you know store the e-waste and there is a procedure so every producer manufacturer or bulk consumer uh, should have you know collection center uh, they should refurbish uh, dismantler recycler all these are responsible to store the e-waste now the person who manufactures or produces they have extended responsibility for the product they make it similarly now bulk consumer is there or dealer is there refurbish is there they have e-waste with them and e-waste is not like you know other waste because we have seen there are harmful chemicals also inside it and some material also inside it so the more the duration you keep the e-waste in your neighborhood it may be you know uh, adverse for the public health and it is not good for the public health so it should not be kept for long time uh, in the neighborhood and the duration given is not extending 180 days and it should maintain the record collection sale transfer storage of all these things so 180 is the limit till what you can store all these things provided that central pollution control board may extend the period up to 360 days so from here the question will come is like storing of e-waste is a responsibility of what it can be of manufacturer producer wholesale uh, consumer bulk consumer and individual consumer dismantler recycler refurbisher it can be responsibility of anyone what is the normal time duration 180 days and who can extend it to 360 days only state pollution control board and now you should also understand central pollution control board and state pollution control board they also are related through some kind of you know understanding and there are certain things which central pollution control board will force on the producers and all and then there are certain rules which state pollution control board can make so that is how uh, this are related so what is the maximum days e-waste can be stored 180 days and which is the organization which can extend the storage duration that is state pollution control board <clears throat> now to end up the lecture 
this is the initiative uh, solving e-waste problem initiative solving e-waste problem that is called a step initiative full form can be asked what is the full form of step solving e-waste problem is the membership organization uh, that is part of United Nations University so UNU ka part hai ye e-waste problem is uh, basically solving e-waste problem is a organization that is a part of United Nations University and it was created to develop the solution to address issues related with electronic waste so uh, who are the eminent players in this particular field of production reuse recycling are triple e electrical and electronic equipment government bodies ngos united nation organizations so these all are the eminent players in this and step leads to the collaboration of all these stakeholders so what is step solving e waste problem that is the step initiative under the aegis of united nation university so this is under the united nation organizations and uh, there are certain play uh, eminent players in this particular field which are you know uh, e triple e electrical and electronic equipment government agencies ngos united nation organizations these all are the part of this particular initiative so with this i think we come to an end of this particular lecture on e-waste and in today's lecture we have discussed some kind of uh, terminologies which may be asked in the center pollution control board exam and also we will be coming out with a series of such lectures related to center pollution control board keep watching it terminologies are very very important and this document you can download this document is available on our website you can download this document and certain terminologies are very very important related to environment and environmental science so just revise these terminologies and start solving the questions based upon this information so all the very best and keep watching other lectures also thank you